Hey, how are you guys? This is Rahul and you're watching Maniverse. In today's video, uh, we are going to talk about how to go from a beginner to advanced level. How to uh, go step by step from somebody who has no idea about dating, who has no idea about game uh, and how to become a natural, how to internalize everything that you're learning and how to like, maximize your learning curve and how to reach to an advanced level where you can meet the people that you like to meet, where you can uh, say whatever you like to say, where you are comfortable in any social situation that you are put in. So let's dive right into it. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, please hit the like button and also please turn on the notification icon because you can be notified every time I release a new video. This channel, Maniverse, is a conversation for men. Here we talk about how to go out and improve your dating life, how to go out and improve your social skills and how uh, you don't need to have a lot of tricks and techniques in your belt how ordinary men can have extraordinary dating life. So let's dive right into the topic. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is the idea of competency and the idea of incompetency. Let me elaborate it. Let me expand on that idea. So you might have heard about uh, there are four stages to mastery for anything. I have recently uploaded an IGTV video on my Instagram. If you are new to the channel, then you can go to my Instagram. You can follow my Instagram and you can subscribe there. So what do I mean about that? The first thing is when, when you are starting out, when you are new to this, then you will go out a lot and you'll have no idea what you're doing right and what, what you're doing wrong. You have no idea what are the things that you need to learn in order to improve that. And you have absolutely no idea how to get the results that you want. So what do I mean by that? The first level of learning anything new is unconscious incompetence. So when you're at this level, you have no idea that you actually suck unless and until you are put to the test unless and until you go out in the field and you actually experience it on your own you will have no idea what are the things that you need to work on what are the sticking points what are your weaknesses what are your strengths that you can build on so the second level of mastery is conscious incompetence at this level you know that okay i suck i need to learn a, new, a, a couple of new things i need to go out and practice i need to go out and push myself a little bit further. The third layer is conscious competence, where you know what you're doing and where you're getting occasional results. But in order to get there, in order to achieve that result, you have to put a lot of energy. You have to engage your entire brain. You have to be very, very conscious about what you're doing. So this is the stage where a lot of people are in because they kind of know what they're doing wrong and they kind of know what they're doing right. This stage in game is also called as an intermediate plateau because people who are stuck there can be stuck there for a long time at this level you are getting some average results but not actually the results that you came for the final layer of this is unconscious competence where you don't have to think about doing everything right logically where you can break some rules where you can push yourself as hard as you want and where a lot of your ability and, and a lot of your skill is based on your intuition is based on your instinct where if you are put in the situation where you are put in the spot you can perform at will you can perform at the snap of the fingers whenever you want it doesn't matter how you're feeling it doesn't matter if you are with your friends or if you are not with friends it doesn't matter what kind of social environment that is so if you are put in that field and if you are a true master to game if you are uh, somebody who has reached an advanced level you don't need a lot of things you can perform at will so let's talk about the beginner phase for a couple of times for a couple of minutes so a beginner is a frustrated guy he has been thinking about different ways of improving his life improving his confidence improving his skills but he has never taken any action he has never left the comfort zone and he has never stepped out into the jungle and actually uh, went for the battle actually went for the real fight actually went in for the real game so what he is doing is he is sitting down and he is hoping that one day he will kind of get some kind of a magical pill he will kind of you know learn something that nobody knows and that will separate him apart and this idea is very famous when you look at movies when you look at other heroes that you follow is that somehow they are sad and they are going through a hard time and somebody comes along and somebody gives them a, a magic solution for example if you have seen the movie koi mil gaya then in that movie uh, rohit the lead role of the movie is 
kind of a stupid guy he is kind of a failure in life nobody has high expectations from him but all of a sudden jadu comes and he gives him some powers he gives him some super abilities some superhuman you know capabilities now he is smart now he is strong now he is able to do things that nobody else can do right like jump 10 feet up in the air and solve hard maths problem or computer problems that is the phase where most beginners are they are hoping for some kind of pill they are hoping for some kind of magic solution so that they don't actually have to go out and get rejections they don't actually have to go out and face the uncertainty of the real world so understand that unless and until you are willing or unless and until you are ready to push yourself out of this comfort zone and actually force yourself to take action you will never reach to an advanced or an intermediate level everything in life everything in game that you are going to learn is going to be two things the first thing inner game the second thing is outer game and i have talked about this a lot and this is some of my favorite topics to talk about and i will talk about this in later upcoming videos so what do i mean about inner game and what do i mean about outer game inner game is something that you can do at home inner game is something that uh, reflects your internal well being reflects your mental health reflects your state of life outer game is something that you go out and you take hardcore massive action if you are going out and if you are doing it you are going out and you are approaching like 20 15 people in a day you are approaching for like 3 hours to 4 hours 3 to 5 days in a week so that you are completely pushing yourself over your limits over your zone so when you are doing that when you are pushing yourself over the limits over the zone you will start to get some uh, momentum you will start to get some results and you will be happy about it and as you keep doing it you will soon sooner or later get into the intermediate phase now the second thing i want to talk about is a lot of guys who are into intermediate phase they are forever stuck in the intermediate phase this is the hell this is one of the most heartbreaking things that i see in game and that i see in uh, every kind of areas of life so in this area people who have started going out and who have started getting some results they actually settle down for the rest less result they actually settle down settle down for average outcomes they actually settle down for average results why basically because in order to uh, push yourself beyond the level of good or beyond the level of average you actually need a lot of discipline you actually need a lot of mental strength and power because once you start getting a couple of you know results a couple of pulls a couple of lays here and there then you will understand that dude i don't need to take it to an advanced level this is enough for me you will kind of start to feel lazy you will kind of think that okay i think this is uh, fun for me and this is what i wanted and you will rationalize in yourself into not taking enough action so whatever action that took you from beginner to uh, intermediate will not take you from intermediate to advanced you will need to put in a lot of different things you will need to put um, self reflection in place you will need to uh take action and you need to push your comfort zone even further you will you will need to sit down and talk to you about uh talk to your issues about different people right uh, so there are a lot of creative ways that you can handle a situation so if you are an intermediate uh guy what you need to do is you need to keep t- keep taking action you need to keep pushing yourself into new environments into new situations you need to keep pushing yourself beyond what you are capable of so w- w- when you start doing this things will start move on it will be first very very hard to move on into the direction of ad- advanced because in order to become truly advanced a lot of your inner wiring is going to change a lot of, a lot of your belief systems are going to change a lot of your values are going to be challenged and uh, you will you will feel as if somebody is taking pieces apart from your body so this is a little bit painful now when you reach to an advanced level the question is two do you want to be the best in your field or do you want to be um just an advanced guy just someone who is very good at this and do you just want to maintain that maintain that result so basically if you reach to an advanced level that means you have the love for the game you have uh, that hunger you have the desire to be better to grow more you have the desire to learn more to execute yourself into a much better situation to uh play more with it so you are naturally going to be 
someone who pushes himself beyond the limits but if you are someone who just like to maintain that you maintain that level of advanced then that is also completely fine that is also not a big deal because if you are an advanced and if you are getting enough results out of it then i understand dude like there are other areas of life that you can work on so you can go and work on that so let me make it very clear to go from a uh, beginner complete beginner like zero to an advanced to a hundred out of hundred you might need somewhere between six months to two years i don't think it will uh, require more than two or three years for you to be completely advanced if you just want to reach to a beginner or intermediate phase then your intermediate phase will come there in like a matter of four or six months reaching the intermediate phase is not very hard thing to do now let's talk about the other side of it have you ever heard a quote that why are there no great schools basically because there are good schools so tony robbins talk about this and this is a very famous concept that good is the enemy of great if you think that you're good enough then you're never going to be great people who are always hungry people who always want a little bit more people who are obsessed with what they want people who want to push their own limits people who want to challenge the status quo they are never satisfied with uh, the mediocre result or they are never even satisfied with a good result a result to them means that this is over what is the next challenge what is the next thing that i can do now this is a conqueror mindset or this is the mindset that you are always hustling you're always like going out and conquering new things you're always going out learning new things you're always going out and working on some kind of uh, new tech uh, trick or some kind of new technique or some kind of new ability now it can be very drenched it can be very uh, tiring to do that because first of all understand that not a lot of people have that hunger not a lot of people have that desire our uh, like body our system our biology does not allow ourselves to go into that phase because basically our body and our minds are made for survival they are not made for uh, becoming some kind of a god or becoming the best or becoming a legend you need to be a little bit crazy you need to be a little bit insane in order to do that understand that a lot of people uh, who are going to look down on you basically they are incapable of taking any action they are incapable of improving themselves so in order to make themselves feel good they ridicule you or they criticize or they laugh at you please don't let those people who are laughing at you who are making fun of you uh, put you down understand that if you have to if you want to uh, get very good at it if you have made a decision that one day you are going to be one of the best in the fields then you should not be stopped by any outer circumstances knowing where you are where you want to go and how you want to reach there is a vital ability in anybody's life right because the thing is we are not taught this when we are in school when we are in school we are taught to sit down and fit in when we are we are, we are in college or when we are at a job we are taught that uh, do tell what uh, do what i'm telling you do as the instruction says don't try to use your own brain too much right i am the boss i am the teacher uh, we are the society so you have to be in accordance with the society you have to be in accordance with the authorities of the society so you become very submissive the inner polarity the masculine polarity inside you that is killed you become kind of a beta male you become kind of a slave to other people or to yourself or to the life that you want to design now whenever you are in that phase whenever you are uh, trying to break out of this conditioning that is holding you back it is not going to be easy it is going to be a painful experience it is going to be uh, it is going to mean that you have to push away a lot of people you'll have to uh, make some people mad you'll not everybody is going to like you you will not like yourself sometimes and that is okay that is completely fine because unless and until you kind of push yourself over the edge you are never going to fall down and start flying in order to fly you have to fall down now these are some concepts that i have learned myself while uh, going out and gaming i have learned from other people and i have also learned by watching some of the greats in the field so this is not a shock to me that a lot of people who come into game they quit like 
80 to 90 percent people who come into game they quit after a couple of months now 10 to 5 percent people stick to it for one year two years or three years now less than one or two percent people actually stick to game for a longer period of time my first year i was the worst guy at this my second year i started getting some results my third year i started getting better results my fourth year was the breakthrough that you know i needed i always wanted so at my fourth year and fifth year i got a sense of control i got a sense of stability i got a sense of power that okay i am not relying on luck i can go out and do this whenever i want um it might not be every day but if i go out seven days a week this is going to happen at least three to four days in a week so this is the kind of ability i want uh, you to have for yourself this is the kind of confidence and trust in yourself i want you to have yourself because unless and until you make up your own mind and you become your own teacher you become your own mentor and you start pushing yourself further understand that nobody is going to do that for you it's a stupid idea to think that uh, people around you are going to uh, take accountability for what you're doing people around you are going to take responsibility for what you're doing and push yourself further people are going to be nice to you people will help you whenever they can a lot of people who are into game they are very good people they are very helpful people so they are going to help you whenever you whenever they can but finally the responsibility is on yourself you will have to put yourself on the line i have seen this again and again and again uh, even in the recent pua community and in, even in the reset dating culture i have seen this happening so many times is people will text me that uh, dude everything that uh, you guys talk about is bullshit it doesn't really work so i'm not going to do it i'm like dude you have tried it for two months three months obviously it is not going to work for three months you need to have some patience people take six months or three months out to learn this understand that you cannot uh, do you cannot undo 20 years of damage in just three months or six months unless and until you are like really focused on this stuff unless and until if you want to learn this if you want to completely get a handle of this in six to uh, you know in three to six months then you will need to go at least seven days in a week or six days in a week you will at least need to spend three to five hours in the field every day you will need to have, uh, approach somewhere between like 15 to 20 people or maybe more and you will need to do it alone if you can do this for six months then obviously your results are going to shoot up but a lot of people don't do this now these things are very personal to me and uh, these problems that uh, you know, everybody is facing and you might be facing yourself these problems are very personal to me and i'm very excited and i'm very passionate about these problems just because i used to face a lot of these problems as well i uh, was a complete zero when i came into game i was i considered myself as a hard case newbie i considered myself as somebody who does not have the uh, who does not have what it requires to reach at a truly advanced level i never thought that i would be able to make friends with high level people i will be able to read the kind of girls that i want and also i'll be able to go out and do it alone at first i thought that uh, you know i'll be in this for a couple of months or a couple of years then i'll leave this and i move forward because i like i was ne never very sure about it but when i started putting myself on the line and when i started seeing results i got really excited i started thinking that uh, now i am invincible and i i wanted to try new things i wanted to push beyond my limits because when you start to win you will see that things are opening up to you uh, i was going out to do day game when i started doing day game i started attracting you know kind of six sevens like you know you can say uh, i don't like to put numbers on people like i don't like to rate people but just to give you the context that just to give you an idea so i was attracting average girls and i was attra i was having a average dating life then i thought that why not take my verbal skills or why not take this skill to a club where there are hotter girls where there are better people where there are more classy people so i went to the clubs and i started doing that at first it was uncomfortable because a club is a completely different environment from a day game area in a club there are a lot of people who are especially there to do this right so i went i started going to the clubs and i started seeing results and when i started seeing results in a mediocre club then i was like uh, let's go and do this at a higher level club let's go and do this at the best clubs possible 
now when i was doing this at the best clubs possible i thought that okay if i want to keep coming here if i want to keep improving myself and keep meeting more and more people and new people then i will need to make a social group i'll need to make a friend circle with the people so i started talking to the bouncers i start, started talking to the managers i started talking to people who come there regularly i started talking to the dj <clears throat> and i started talking to some girls who are very regular there so when i reached to the club it is not a foreign environment for me i already know people there and now i can push myself even further and now i can go for uh, what i really really want now these are all my steps nobody has told me to do this this is the this is entirely my opinion you can take it or you can leave it i'm not forcing you to do the same thing uh, you can take your own way you can you know use your own brain and come up with your own structure but what i would advise is it's not a wise thing to reinvent the wheel all the time understand that if something has been working for me it has been working for hundreds and thousands of people then you're not a special snowflake you're not something you're not somebody who is a hard case newbie uh, yeah you can be a hard case newbie but you're not somebody who is broken in some way all you need to understand is it's, it's a skill it's an ability it's it can be cultivated it's like learning math it's like learning a new musical instrument and it's like going to the gym you can be the best version of yourself you can be the strongest version of yourself stop sitting there and crying about you know what you used to do 3 years ago 4 years ago even like 1 year ago and understand that if you are getting results 2 year ago it does not mean that you will be getting results right now a lot of people are sitting there and they view all the messages they uh, see us doing this over and over again but they are scared of taking action they are scared of getting out and starting from the bottom because their ego is involved they think that okay now everybody sees me at a advanced level or at a beginner uh, at an intermediate level everybody thinks that i'm already good and i'm already experienced now if i go back to ground zero and if i go back and started surging once again if i started going out once again then everybody is going to think that okay he was lying he was not really that good so it does not matter what anybody else thinks it's for yourself you're not in this to make other people like you to make other uh, gamers or make other pwas like you you are in this to improve yourself take that responsibility carry that burden don't sit down and complain don't say that game doesn't work don't come up to me and be like dude i have been doing this for 2 months and i have not been getting any results dude 2 months is nothing you should not be getting any results in 2 months 2 months is just a starting point you are just creating the initial momentum you have not even completely entered the field i don't think of you as a competition if you go into a club nobody will think of you as a threat or as a value you are just irrelevant right now you will need to be relevant you will need to push yourself to the point that if you enter a venue and if you start talking to someone you are all of a sudden put in a different category than 90% of the people when i start talking to someone when i go into any venue when i go into any social situation and the way i talk the way i carry myself the way i carry the conversation people immediately know that okay he has enough experience he has met people like us he knows what he is doing he has things to talk about he is interesting that's why i don't always need to prove that i am interesting and that's why i don't always need to talk so this is a very step by step process this is a long process enjoy the game enjoy the process and uh, have fun doing it enjoy your small victories and if you are making some mistakes then learn from that mistakes and move forward don't let them hold you back don't don't like create an ego out of itself that you know i am somebody who is amazing i am somebody who has uh, you know everything that i need to do in order to get this i can get anyone that i want i am very good at this i am someone special just because i know how to go out and meet people this is a skill if you want to improve you have to put in the work there is nothing special about it there is nothing glamorous about it and this is not always going to be fun most of the times this is going to be rejections and this is going to be painful but unless and until you enjoy rejections and enjoy your pain uh, you will not be able to fully appreciate the game you will not be able to fully appreciate your results and your victories so this was a 
motivational segment because uh, I did not talk about any specific skill and most of the videos that I'll be putting out in the future are going to be about a video in which I talk more about philosophy and I uh, talk more about in-depth content not uh, like five ways of doing this or six ways of texting a girl you can get this anywhere but we need to have this conversation it's a conversation from me to you it's a daily like it's a weekly conversation that we can have it's a conversation or it's a video that you can dive deep into and since i'm hitting so many other topics since i'm hitting so many different areas of game of life of personal development then it is going to make you think a lot you need to reflect on yourself you need to stand in the mirror look at yourself in the mirror and you need to ask this question to yourself straightforward that am i being the kind of person i wanted to be when i first got into this am i still on to that path have i deviated if i have deviated how far i have deviated can i come back do i still have that same goal do i have still have that same purpose in my life do i still need to work on this how good i am be very objective about it don't create a self identity don't create a bias around it okay now thanks again for watching this video if you are new to this channel uh, subscribe like and hit the notification button so the next video i'm going to upload you will be notified by it also follow me on instagram we will be doing some workshops and infields will be coming out very soon so stay tuned thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye